blood types are needed. Please donate now. Patients' lives depend on your donation. Book your blood or plasma appointment at blood.ca or use the Give Blood app. Good evening, it's Sunday 41. Now traffic and weather together with Colette Desjardins. Thanks, Asher. And this report is brought to you by the Elementary Teachers Federation of Ontario. So right now, if you're on the eastbound 401, we still have a stalled vehicle. It's the ramp to the 427. It's the blocking the right lane. MTO is on the scene. And then if you're on the westbound 401 from west of Avenue Road to the island in the express, down to a single lane that's for construction. And heading southbound on the 404, you're not going to be able to use the ramp to Highway 7. According to traffic spotters, thanks for all the calls. Still closed. It was closed last night for construction. Fort Erie bound on the QEW. Uh, the Burlington Skyway Bridge remains closed until 10 o'clock this morning. So right now it's backed up from the 403 ramp. So it's very, very slow. You can stick with the uh, westbound QE. Go on to the westbound 403. It's in the Hamilton area. You always have the Lincoln Alexander Parkway. But instead, I might use, well, I might want to use King or Main. It's going to take you to the Red Hill Valley Parkway, which will take you back to the Fort Erie Bound QEW. Students need more support. More investments are needed in public schools. No more cuts. Learn more at buildingbetterschools.ca. A message from ETFO. Your next report is at 8.51 with the forecast. Here's Denise Andriachi. We have a nice day expected across the GTA. It's a lovely morning. Uh, we have temperatures in the teens right now, so you still may want a light sweater, but this afternoon, 23 is the guaranteed high. There's still some fog advisories in sections of the GTA, so mind your driving as visibility is still an issue in some areas, uh, but eventually um, all the fog will disappear. We'll have some nice uh, sunny conditions today across the board. Clear overnight 15, tomorrow sun and cloud near 25. Our guaranteed high today, 23. City News Time, 8.43. More problems stateside where the U.S. government is headed towards a shutdown that could disrupt many government services, squeeze federal employees, and royal politics. CBC's Elizabeth Schultz has more. Federal agencies have been working on contingency plans to determine who needs to report to work without a paycheck. About 820,000 federal workers will be sent home without pay, and through all of this, members of Congress will still get their own salary. Employees deemed essential to public safety, such as air traffic controllers and law enforcement officers, still will need to report to work. Toronto's top stories in sports, up next. City News 43. At Real Canadian Superstore, this week, get a 5 to 7 kilo 